Riley here. Welcome to the No Spin News, Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. Stand up for your country. Well, it's Super Tuesday. Excited? Uh, everybody knows how this is going to come out. And um, the lack of drama means the lack of people paying attention. But there are some very important things in play, and we're going to get to them tonight. Uh, and the Talking Points memo is uh, devoted to politics. All right. Makes sense, right? Okay, so let's uh, go over what happened yesterday with the Supreme Court briefly. All right. Nine zero states cannot throw people off a national election ballot. It's as simple as that. And that's the Constitution and why anybody would be surprised at this ruling. We went over it yesterday. I had predicted this and all of that. Okay, so the left is desperate now because they're embarrassed. The progressives are embarrassed. These are all progressive people, not liberal people. And there's a difference between progressives. Progressives are the far left. The liberal people, they didn't push this ballot stuff. It was really out there, progressive people. So now they're saying that the three liberal justices on the court, Sotomayor, Kagan, and Brown Jackson, they don't really like this ruling. And they want the power, the federal government, have the power to disqualify anybody. That's not true. I mean, this is another lie that circulates at, a, I don't know how it gets started. I know that these K Street uh, political uh, committees that the Democrats and Republicans pay, they spin this stuff every day. I know that. But this is just blatantly ridiculous. Okay, so in order for a state to disqualify somebody, there's got to be a rule. And there is no rule. So the Supreme Court suggested that Congress make a law about insurrection, not a law that applied to Confederate officers, which is what these loons in Colorado and Maine were using. Not that antiquated law that had nothing to do with politics in 2024, a new law. And I I support that. If there are reasons why an American shouldn't be able to run for president, put them down and have Congress vote, and the president, whoever that may be, signs. That makes sense. That's how our system works. So the Supreme Court suggested to Congress, why don't you do that? And, yeah. Okay. And I think most people would be for it. Now, last night, uh, I had a lot of people uh, text and call me and say, oh, are you watching MSNBC and CNN? And my answer was, no, I'm not. Okay. I, I'm working because it requires me to accumulate information. I I can't watch these people. And they go, oh, it's like a funeral over there and all of that stuff. I I said, are you surprised by this point in history that these people over there who want a complete overhaul of the U.S. government, uh, are you surprised? And uh, then I gave uh, my producer the mandate to find the dumbest statement made on uh, cable TV news last night. Roll the tape. I don't think there's anything in that opinion that actually holds, and there couldn't be because it's not, it wasn't presented by the case, that there is, that, that somehow uh, insurrectionists are completely immunized um, from, from any kind of, of federal action to apply Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. I just don't see it in the majority opinion. <laughs> it's so breathtakingly dumb, I can't even explain it. All right, there is no defined insurrection. These people just made that up. They believe Donald Trump is an insurrectionist. There's no court, there's no case, there's no filing, there's no allegation. And if Donald Trump did participate in an insurrection, you know the Justice Department and the special counsel, Jack Smith, would have charged him with that. But No, 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 no. We know. I mean, by that crazy and stupid line of thinking, anybody could accuse anybody of anything. And then that would hold legal weight. But this moron, and he is, I mean, and I'm sorry, I don't like to use that hominem attacks, but the man is a moron. All right. He says, oh, I, you know, Somehow, insurrectionists are completely immunized. What? 
And who's going to define who's an insurrectionist? You? Come on. Ridiculous. Now, there was another Supreme Court ruling yesterday, late yesterday. It might have gotten by you. So we all know that the border states are just overwhelmed by the migration, the open border that Joe Biden has imposed on the country. And that is an accurate statement. President of the United States has done this alone. He has supporters, but he did it. Now, Texas is getting it the worst. New Mexico, the governor there doesn't care. Arizona is getting it pretty badly, but there's a split in the population there. And Newsom in California doesn't care. So two out of the four border states, New Mexico and California, couldn't care less how many foreign nationals come in. Arizona and Texas, they are angry. All right. Texas being the most militant again. So the governor, Greg Abbott, and the legislature pass a law way back in December. Okay, that says from now on, state authorities in Texas, the Texas Rangers, okay, and local police in the big city have the power to arrest a foreign national who illegally crosses into this country, even asylum seekers. All right. And here are the four tenets of the law. Under Texas law, Officers can arrest people suspected suspected of entering the country illegally. Once in custody, people arrested can agree to a Texas judge order to leave the country or face a misdemeanor charge. Migrants who don't leave after being ordered to do so could be arrested again and charged with a felony. That's the law. Okay. Now, the Supreme Court said, and of course, the ACLU and others challenged the law like that, got into federal court, and the Supreme Court put a stay on the law last night. Okay, said, nope, not going forward. We're going to hear more arguments about it. It'll probably go back to the Supreme Court sometime, but they're not going to be in a hurry to take it. So things remain the same. The federal government is the only body that can regulate migration into this country, not the states. If you're going to be consistent about the Constitution, that is the right ruling, as I said on News Nation last night. Go. But the Supreme (laughs) Court (laughs) was correct in its Texas ruling because state doesn't have arrest powers over the border. What Texas should have done and Abbott, the governor, should have ordered was not arrest. But detention for public safety, you detain and then you call Mm. the Homeland Security, the feds, who then pick up the migrant and take them into the federal system. That is the law. The federal government controls the borders, not Texas. And Texas can rationalize it all day long, but they're defying the Constitution, and the court is correct in staying the arrest powers of the Texas authorities. Detain, don't arrest. Okay, so I know a lot of you watching, particularly you in Texas, uh, are angry about this, but you've got to understand what the Constitution says. Look, I, I sympathize with everybody in this country who is adversely affected by the open border. This should never be happening. And if the American people wise up, they'll vote out the Biden administration in November and we'll have a sane border policy again. I am very sympathetic, but you can't throw out the document that defines how this country operates. And I think most Sane people will agree with that. If you don't agree, bill at BillOReilly.com, bill at BillOReilly.com, name in town. If you wish to opine, love to hear from you. Debt. You go to bed and wake up thinking about it. Here's the truth. The system traps you in debt. High interest credit cards, loans make it nearly impossible to pay it all off. And insane inflation keeps you stuck paycheck to paycheck. Done with debt is your lifeline. Done with debt 
as a new strategy to help erase your debt faster and easier than you ever thought. Done With Debt analyzes all the debt options you qualify for. They know how to reduce bills, cut interest rates. Their skilled staff of negotiators know how to get debt out of your life without bankruptcy, without a loan. Done With Debt are the experts in brilliant strategies for eliminating debt. Here's how easy they make it. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com. Donewithdebt.com. Okay, let's go to the mail. Elaine uh, Martinkovic. Martinkovic, Las Vegas. Joe Biden did not enable Hunter. Joe Biden is the mastermind. Behind the grift, taking millions from countries and getting his cut. Elaine, if you have proof of that, please send it to me and I'll win a Pulitzer and I will share it with you. I know it's your opinion and you are perfectly within your rights to hold the opinion. But the evidence is not there yet. Teresa. Won't be watching the State of the Union. Old Joe will spew lies anyway. I'll catch the fumbles, gaffes on the snippets. Okay. I don't think a lot of people are going to watch it. Esther Haynes, Jacksonville, Florida. O'Reilly, you said many times Jill Biden does not want to give up power. What power does she have? Nobody sees Joe unless she says it's okay. That's a lot of power. And again, you know, read Killing Reagan. Nancy Reagan is the most powerful person in that White House. No doubt about it. Thomas Miller, North Salem, New York. I have a question. I hear you say how Joe Biden can pardon Hunter Biden, even if he's not convicted of the crime yet. I understand if he is convicted, but as you say, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. You are saying no matter what Hunter does, Joe can pardon him, even before he goes to court. Correct. (laughs) Presidential pardon. Look at the pardon that President Ford gave President Nixon. There's the power to do it. Federal charges, by the way. Uh, Nick Georgioff, Grand Blanc, Michigan. Hey, Bill, what's your opinion of how this Bragg case will go in Manhattan? You said it yourself that his lawyers should try to get all the legal issues moved out of New York. I think it's a guarantee he'll be found guilty. Could be sentenced to years in prison. Not going to prison. All right. Uh, All this stuff is going to be appealed in New York into the federal system. Once it gets into the federal system, a good chance a lot of this stuff will be thrown out. The fine that he got on the real estate beef, that's never going to happen. Never. It's excessive, and you can't do that according to the Constitution. So you mark my words. Mike Thomas, Newport Beach, California. Hey, Bill, just heard you talking on your Smart Life segment. You mentioned not drinking sugar drinks. I used to drink a two-liter Mountain Dew every day. We must have been thirsty. I went in for my yearly checkup. Doctor told me I was pre-diabetic. So I changed. I gave up sugar drinks. And now I drink, like you do, sparkling ice. When I returned for my follow-up checkup, my blood sugar was under control. You can do it. You can do it. I got to fight this battle all the time because of my predisposition, my DNA, is to have high blood sugar. So I'm every day I'm saying, all right, this is okay. This isn't. And then I'm now I'm going to an amazing power walk because that brings it down too. But you drinking that sugar, D.D. Renyon, Killeen, Texas. I was one of the very first concierge members, um, but I have never really written to you about a problem, Bill. However, I am very glad I became a lifetime member because now I have an insurance policy. Yes, you do, D.D. Anything goes wrong in your life, and I mean anything. You have my secret email, direct email, right? I will keep everything confidential. Nobody will ever know. And we will provide a pathway for you to solve the problem. Or, you know, we'll, if it's egregious or whatever, we'll be ombuds people on your behalf. So that is what BillOReilly.com concierge membership gives you, an insurance policy. Because we're dispassionate. We don't don't have emotion. 
in this. We can look at your problem and we can give you, sometimes not solutions, but we can give you a way forward to mitigate the damage, which is what we do. Eddie Klein, Concord, North Carolina. I'm 78 years old. I did not know how America was founded until I read Killing the Witches. Great read. Thanks for the history lesson. Killing Crazy Horse will be next. Well, that's smart because now you know the fundamentals of America and now you'll see the expansion west and what happened there in Killing Crazy Horse. Okay, uh, Confronting the President. This is a new series I've developed, and it'll be out September 10th. You can pre-order on BillOReilly.com. We will not charge you until we ship the book to you. It is out again September 10th. Uh, publisher loves the book. I got a nice note from them today. I said they more, learn more reading this book than any other book in recent memory. And you'll, it's an amazing amount of stuff that Martin Dugard and I have assembled for you. Uh, Killing Crazy Horse, aforementioned 1295, which is about the best thing. And this is the hardback. Okay, this is the, the hardback edition. Where do they not be obtuse? O-B-T-U-S-E. A lot of people are, are obtuse these days. Don't be that. Back with a final thought about where I'll be tomorrow in a moment. Wall Street tells us to put our money in an IRA or 401k. They think risking your life savings in the Wall Street casino is a secure investment for our future. Did you know the average American who follows that advice might outlive their savings by 10 years? With Bank on Yourself, grow and protect your hard-earned money. This retirement alternative has never had a loss in more than 160 years. Do you want predictable annual growth, control of your money, and tax-free retirement income? Then go to bankonyourself.com slash no spin, and they will send you a free report with the retirement plan that big banks and Wall Street are desperately hoping you never hear about. Again, go to bankonyourself.com slash no spin for your free report. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation supports America's greatest heroes, U.S. service members, and first responders who gave their lives those catastrophically injured in the line of duty and homeless vets. The Foundation's Gold Star Fallen First Responder and Homeless Vet Programs honor the sacrifices made by men who fought and died for us and women who risked their lives for our country as well. The Foundation's Never Forget Program engages people in 9-11 remembrances across America with more than 80 runs, walks, and dozens of golf outings every year. The Tunnel of Towers 9-11 Institute educates kids from kindergarten through 12th grade about America's darkest day, while helping our nation keep its vow to never forget. So please support Tunnel to Towers. Donate $11 a month. Tunnel to Towers at t2t.org. More than 95 cents of every dollar you donate to Tunnel to Towers goes to its programs. That's T, the number two, another T, dot org. Okay, final thought of the day. We will be in West Palm Beach tomorrow broadcasting the results of Super Tuesday and the ramifications of that. I got out of Florida because I'm uh, going to the Joe Namath Foundation Benefit, and that foundation helps former football players who have brain injuries, and a lot of them do. Those are gladiators, boy. You play college or NFL football, Namath himself, I mean, the guy, I mean, the injuries that he went through. Anyway, I'm a big football guy. You know that. I go down. I help Joe. He's become a pal. He's a terrific guy. He has a benefit. I go to it. So we'll be in Florida for the benefit, but we will broadcast tomorrow. Now, Thursday, I'm going to be off because there's nothing I can do with a pre-State of the Union. Tomorrow, I'll give you my State of the Union in a talking points memo. But, I, you know, and, but I will be tweeting with uh, Biden. And if he collapses at the State of the Union, by that, I mean he gets lost and he garbles his words. He can't get it out. 
Remember, if that happens, he's through. There is a report today from Newsmax that Michelle Obama's spokesperson, I don't even know who that is, says she's not going to run for president. I don't know. I'm just passing it along. I've heard that a million times. People say, oh, I'm not running, and then they run. But that came from Newsmax. I've passed it along. So I'm looking forward to getting down to 80 degree temperatures in the Sunshine State. I got to stay out of the sunshine because of the Irish skin, but I can be under a tree or something and enjoy the warm weather. Here in, uh, it's like I'm building an ark in New York. It's raining so much. It's better than snow. But Noah is right down the street in Tamarin, New York here. It just hasn't stopped raining for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And we really appreciate you guys. Uh, we will have the No Spin News State of the Union tomorrow from West Palm Beach. We hope you join us. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll see you then.